Yes, good morning YouTube. So I wanted to finish up this little review of this AC digital multifunction meter. There's the product code PZEM-061. So this is the little AC panel meter I installed on my variable AC power supply. And I wanted to just go over the, this button here. So they have this little button that nominally controls the backlight. So you can see I can turn the backlight on and off. And the nice thing is the device remembers that setting. So if I turn it off and turn the power back on, you can see the backlight setting gets retained. The other two things this uh, button does is there's uh, this accumulated energy setting that you can actually reset with this button and then there's also another feature in this device. There's a power limit alarm that you can set. And the way you get to that is you hold the button down for five seconds. And you can see it said set DLR. And right now you can see it's flashing here. The default here is 22.0 kilowatts which I guess is determined by uh, 100 amps at 220 volts. And the way you change this is whatever number is flashing, if you wait for that number, so I've reset it to one kilowatt. What I want to do here is set it to 800 watts. So if you just let that go through, it it's basically just keeps blinking through the number. So I, now I've got 0 0.8 kilowatts and if you hold the switch down for five seconds now it's got that setting in there and the way you can check it again hold it down for five seconds and you see it said set CLR and now we've got the 0 0.8 and the reason I set that is this power supply is nominally 7 amps at 120 volts so I figure that's 840 watts so this way this meter will beep if I get above 800 watts if I'm testing something and that way I can hopefully uh, look up and see that the the current is too high or the voltage times the current gets too high so now the last setting you can see here I've got six watt hours accumulated and this meter is kind of nice it go reads watt hours up until it hits 10,000 watt hours then it switches to kilowatt hours and it will read then every kilowatt hour up to 10,000 kilowatt hours and you can use this button to reset that value. So the way you do that is you hold the button in until the energy number flashes. So flashing and then a short click while it's flashing resets that to zero. So it's a little tricky with the timing. You've got to get the timing just right. Short press is the backlight. A five second press gets you to the set CLR. Another five seconds gets you out of that. And then to reset the power, you have to go through that screen and then press. Those are kind of three little hidden features in this panel meter. So in the next video, what I want to show you is some little techniques. You can actually use this uh, power supply and meter to help you do a little detective work. And in the meantime, you can subscribe to my channel for updates. Please rate, comment, and share. And as always, thanks for watching.